Well, I'm uh, happy for our team and uh, for the fans that have been uh, coming out to support us that we were able to play a, a very good game against a high quality opponent. Um, a team that I think is, if not the best, one of the best teams in the conference and an NCAA tournament level team. And it showed that, um, you know, our guys are still out here fighting and, and playing hard, that they're competing and want to try to uh, make some noise before the Atlantic 10 tournament. Um, and it was nice to see uh, some contributions from Jabari. Uh, the way he played tonight was fantastic. And I thought Zach Coleman, um, being in the game gave us a nice lift also. So a good win for us. Um, hopefully we can build upon that and uh, go down to Duquesne and play well on Sunday. Derek, you mentioned Zach. How big was, uh, after Trey missed the, the free throw to, for Zach to get his hand on it? And, uh, in, in you know what, he does a great job of that even in practice. Um, that's one of his uh, expertise moves. And um, you know, not only did he do that one, but then he had a free throw block out on the other end, uh, which I thought was huge. And, you know, I've talked for years with these guys about um, winning or losing games on free throw blockouts or not getting a blockout. And I think Zach does a great job of uh, making those of the utmost importance. I thought his minutes were great tonight. Will Wade said Jabari was the difference in the game tonight. Did he look more like kind of that November Jabari that you guys had seen early in the season? Yeah, I mean, Jabari stayed the course. Um, you know, he got some shots to fall. He started feeling a little more comfortable out there. And um, I think you'll see the Jabari that we all know and love uh, down the stretch here. You know, he's worked hard. Um, and sometimes you get some ruts or you don't play quite as well as you want at times. And he didn't frown or cry or anything like that when he w uh, went to the bench. Uh, and he's played his best basketball uh, the last couple couple of days. Jabari, you had, you had five steals and a few of those turned into buckets for you guys. How, how important was that for you guys setting the tone when you got out to that lead in the first half? No, it was real important. I just wanted to uh, get my hands, you know, to be active on defense, you know, and just try and get like, an easy transition buckets for me and my teammates. Did this feel more like it had early in the season for you tonight? Yeah, definitely. You know, it was playing defense, talking. You know, we were just, you know, taking stuff away from them that they was comfortable doing, and it worked out. Jabari, for, for you, when the, when the shots, when you started making some shots early, did that just give you a little bit more energy to, just overall for – to? to build off of? Uh, yeah, but it started off with defense. I know I had to focus in this game. You know, Lewis, you know, is a good, uh, good point guard. You know, he liked to you know, get, get in the lane, uh, dish the ball out, and, and also uh, score the ball. So I just wanted to, you know, just make uh, make it hard on him. Zach, can you talk, can you talk about that, uh, that that play at the end where you were able to uh, to knock the offensive rebound back out after the free throw miss? Oh, um, yeah, I just, yeah, honestly, I pissed I missed the second one, but I, when I seen the opportunity, I knew, like, you know, I wasn't going to be able to get it, but I seen Trey, I think I saw Dante over here, too, so, I mean, my, my whole mindset was just, you know, if I missed it, crash, get us the possession back, you know, they had to foul it, so, we can go back to the line. Okay, did his, his, the Zach's threes, and in in, when you guys won that spurt, did that kind of, Kind of changed the game a little bit for you guys when he went up in that little run and made it double digits. You guys, I mean, yes, absolutely, because it allowed us to stretch the floor somewhat with our four men, and those are the plays that actually I envision when I, you know, think about Zach's game is making those open threes and coming up with extra possessions. Um, but that nice run, we went seven for seven from uh, the three in the first half. I didn't think that was going to happen for a full game. Um, you know, shooting 100 percent, but I thought we did. Uh, we, we were taking good shots, and fortunately for us, against the high level team, we were making them. And um, it's a fun game to uh, coach and play when they're going in. Dante, uh, they came out, they had been chipping away at, at your lead for most of the second half. And uh, right after they tied the game, you, you had that three in the corner. Were you looking at that point to, to, to try to make a momentum play? Um, I wasn't looking to try to make a momentum play. I think it just fell in my hands. And I, I didn't have no choice but to shoot uh, with the shot clock going down. So. It, did it feel at that point? Could, could you kind of? See, it looked like they got a little deflated by that. It looked like you had, you had taken the momentum back. Could you kind of see that in, in both your team and their team at that point? Uh, they did get deflated. I'm glad they did. <laughs> Jabari, you got him the ball in that one. Could, did were, were you just looking for anybody at that point, or did you? No, I tried to make a move and it slipped, and then I seen him. He made the perfect. Uh, he ran like towards the corner. But that's where I was going. I just tipped it to him. And I didn't even see what happened. But. He shot it and it went in. Derek, did that, did, at, at that point, did you, did you feel like uh, that was a pretty significant play in the game as far as your guys staying in it? Yeah, absolutely. There's, I mean, there's a lot of plays going through my head right now. I'm trying to get them all back in order. <laughs> They're asking me different questions, but that, that corner three was big. We made a lot of shots tonight, kind of with the shot clock running down. We didn't settle quite as much as we have in different games where, um, you know, you, you can't really panic even when there's five, four, you know, six seconds on the shot clock. Just take your time and go try to make a good play. And I thought we did a much better job of uh, executing down down at the low shot clocks tonight.
you, you like to talk about playing UMass best. Was that first half with making the threes, ter- the transition buckets? Was that was that as close to what you're talking about when you when you when you when you mentioned that? Yeah, absolutely. And I mean, the seven for seven from three obviously is a little bit you know out of whack. But I thought just our energy. You know, I knew when when I came in the locker room before the game that the guys were here to play tonight. Um, the energy, the kind of the the talk and the motivation kind of going on in there was uh, was really player driven. And uh, when that happens, then I think you got a chance to go out and play well. Uh, with good energy, and our guys did a nice job of uh, doing that tonight. Jabari, how much of that was knowing that you're you're playing a team tied for first in the standings, VCU team that gets some of that national press and. Man, yeah, nothing to lose, so just came out there and played hard, you know, and you know, it just worked out for our favor. Dante, you had uh, Melvin Johnson for a lot of for a lot of the game. The job that you guys did on him, I mean, he had 13, but had to work hard hard to get him. Do you feel like that took them out of their some of their what they do offensively? Uh, I wasn't really keeping track of what he was doing. I was just trying to play defense the way I was. I've been told to play defense, so I wasn't really keeping track. But yeah, I think he was out of sort. Derek, you've talked about Dante becoming an important defensive presence for you guys. To do that to Melvin Johnson, how how much of that helped? I mean, he did a good job. I think Dante's athletic enough and big enough and strong enough to cover the top kind of wing slash guards in the league. And um, I thought him and uh, the kid Melvin Johnson going kind of at each other was a good was a good matchup. And. Uh, you know, you'd like to see uh, high-level players go at each other some, and I thought um, Dante did a nice job, especially on the defensive end of the floor, and then he made some good plays offensively. Like you've talked about this team having the pieces in Brooklyn to do something if they, if you get on track. Is this a game where you can point to and say, look, we do everything right, this is this is our potential, this is what we can do? Yeah, play. I mean, I think you can look back and say that, but we got to, you know, I think we need to win some more coming down a stretch here so we can keep proving to ourselves that we're capable of winning three or four games in, in, a, in a tournament setting, um, and also to have the confidence that, you know, we can go on the road and win some games and also, you know, play some tough teams at home. We still got some really good teams on our schedule. And I think we're going to uh, we're going to go out and try to win as many games as we can. Thank, Thank you. you guys. Thanks.